Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh Pashim, Yahweh Shai, Pashim Raka Kadash, Daul and Santi the Elders, Apostles of Great Muslim, Shalom to the Sincere Akim, Cross of Four Wings, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Alright, this, uh, this article from the Mint uh, Press dot com uh, from Wisconsin, Win, Wisconsin. Alright, this website it got released on the uh, 20th of uh, August 2018, the year of prophecy. Uh, the headline says that Wisconsin company is injecting RFID chip microchip into the hands of the employees. They love it. Uh, how long, man? Since the beginning of the other apostles of Great Mosul and the others on down have been telling you over, over the years that, that uh, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. But you see that guys were still uh, what? Uh, scoffing. Against against the will of, of Yahweh Shmuel Shah, against the saints of the Most High, the prophets. Now it's we, now it's becoming more evident that this indeed the RFID chip, the NF, NFC, whatever name they may call it, okay, the biochip, it is the mark of the beast spoken of in Revelation uh, thirteen, Revelation uh, fourteen. Uh, you're not supposed to take it. As Israelites, two thirds of you, whether you take it or not, you're still gonna be destroyed. The fact is. Nobody's supposed to take it in the goddamn first place. Uh, and the elect are the ones who are going to be kept during the hour of temptation. They're not, they're not going to fall prey to that. Uh, and we're warning you right now, do not take the chip. But you see, two-thirds are still going to take it anyway. Uh, but this is for the uh, uh, edification unto the elect. It says that Wisconsin uh, company is injecting RFID chip, uh, which is a radio frequency identity uh, it says chips into ha into hands of employees into what hands of employees they love it man the implant which is about the size of a grain of rice is found in credit cards debit cards key knobs and smartphones well, so so them they they removing this uh, this, uh, this 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 uh, these chips from your credit cards, so that's how that's what this uh, this was uh, what was uh, fueling and aiding these uh, these cards to work the chip. So they're removing it from the, these cards, putting in you, working as what as an ID. All right, this is new system, this new global globalistic system, and and its currency platform, which is going cashless right now. All right, this is the plan which they have right now, but it's not gonna work. All right. Either way, it says on, on the 20th of August, 2018, the year of prophecy, VazeroHedge.com. It says, Wisconsin technology firm 3 Square Market has injected 80 employees with their own brand of RFID chip over the last year. And according to MIT Technology Review, they love it. Because uh, they, they wanted to keep, to keep their jobs. Uh, this is a book of Proverbs 29, verse uh, 26. Uh, it says, uh, for many seek the ruler's favor. So of verse 25 says, the fear of man bringeth a snare. But whosoever puts his trust in the law shall be safe. Uh, these are the times that we're heading into. Okay, The hour of temptation. World War Three famine. A, a global collapse of all the economies all over the world. And the introduction okay, of this the RFID chip. All right, and there's go whether you take it or not, it's all up to Yahweh Bashmi Ashad. The elect are the ones who are not going to take it, all right, and they're going to have through faith in Yahweh Bashmi Ashad and knowing the fear of Yahweh Bashmi Ashad, all right, as it, as it is ordained before the foundation of the world, will not take this goddamn chip, all right. So the Proverbs 29, verse 25 says, of, For the fear of man bringeth a snare, but whosoever put his trust in the Lord. Shall be safe. Many seek the failure of the many seek the uh, the ruler's favor. Esau, all right. But every man's judgment cometh from the Lord. So those of you gonna take this chip, okay. The the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. The judgment is, is gonna shortly come, all right. It's a, it's a, it shall surely uh, sh come. This uh, Revelation thirteen. You know what? Revelation. Let me go to Revelation fourteen real quick. It's Revelation fourteen. All right. 14 and 9. It's uh, Revelation 14, verse 
Okay. It says, and, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and, the, and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, all right, if you're going to come here with this mentality, you know, I love it. Uh, with costing companies is injecting a RFID chip, microchip into their hands, in the hands of the employees. They see what they say? They love it. This is for you. Okay. This is for you, says, uh, says Revelation 14 and 9. says, The third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead, or in his hand, says that the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, and the presence of the, the presence of the Lamb. Or it says, and their smoke, and and the smoke of their torment ascended up from from forever and ever, and they have no rest, no 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 day, day or night. Who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Uh, so you want you gonna burn along South America, all right? Those of you gonna fucking be dumb enough to take this fucking chip. Or uh, like I said, or Proverbs, many seek the favor from the ruler, but the ultimate judgment is gonna come okay through the hands of your Hapashmiasha. Those of you gonna be trusting in what? In in oppression, in vanity, in Esau and his and his uh, what and his systems is this first John three. Is that first John chapter chapter two verse fifteen? So that I get, uh, yep. It says, uh, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him." All right, your love of the Father is not in you, people. All right, because you you already see here. They see what they see. What they love it. All right, they love it so. All right, they they love it. Meanwhile, scripture says what in Leviticus, make no cutting in your flesh. Uh, this is the love of the world. Uh, they want to trend. Okay, they want to be part of part of the world. They want to blend in. You're gonna blend in with the with the rest of the world, and you're gonna die with, with the rest of those who have blended themselves. Okay, with the customs and the ways of this world, which is nothing but filthiness. All right, First John two and fifteen says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." All right, if any man love the world. The love of the Father is not in him. All right. Isaiah 36, verse 6, 36, verse 6 says, uh, Lo, thou trustest in, in the staff of this broken reed. On Egypt, where, whereunto if a man lean, it will go in his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh the king of Egypt to all that trust in him. All right. In fact, let me jump. It says Isaiah 36 and 5 says, I say, says thou, but but they are but vain words. I have counsel and strength for war. Now who does thou the, uh, whom does thou trust that thou rebellest against me? Lo, all right. <laughs> says, Lo, thou trustest in the broken staff, on this broken uh, broken reed, okay, on the on Egypt. Whereunto, if any man lean in it, will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt and all that trust in him. You know, I'm going to let's, let's look up this. What, what does uh, the broken reed mean? All right. Uh, real quick. So this is a broken reed. It says a weak. Let me go here. Says a broken reed, says a a weak or unreli uh, unreliable uh, support. As it says, as in I'd counted on her to help. Uh, it says un unre you know what? Let me just go down. Some definition. Says a from says a something or someone that fails when when relied on for support or help. Or it says a broken reed. Says a, a weak and un, un, unreliable or ineffectual person. Right. 
That's Esau's system. Because the scripture says in the book of Daniel 4 and 27, it says, In the days of these kings, shall the most out of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be, 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 be destroyed. Uh, and it shall never be what is left to any other people. So this new world, new world order system and its currency, guess what? It is all going to be barbaric in vain. Okay? In fact, let me just go here. Let me see here. Let me just go to this website over here, the Merriam-Webster. Okay. It says, uh, some, it says a definition of a broken reed. It says something or someone that is that that uh, that fails when relied. It says, it says someone or something that fails when relied on for support or help. Okay, because you gonna you gonna take that chip and you're still not gonna eat. All right, you want to take that chip and you're still not going to eat at the end of the day. That's why the scripture says what? Uh, never trust an enemy, Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. All right, never trust your enemy, man. Okay? Because this system is guaranteed to fail. Okay, this is Revelation 13. All right, this is a book of Revelation. Oh, this is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 17. What the fuck? Revelation 13 and 16. Uh, it says, uh, it says uh, He calls with all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast and the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have the understanding count the number of the beast, for it is is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred score, uh, and and his number is six hundred three score and six. All right. So you can trust in uh, in Esau's system. All right. It's gonna be all about be about what broken promises. Okay. It says all oh, equals of all, both small and great. Okay. Free or bond, no man should buy or sell, because uh, this 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 uh, RFID chip is found where, is found in what in credit cards. What you do with credit cards, you swipe, okay, you buy with it, okay, you tap and go with these credit cards. Now that's going out of fashion. You still got something much better for you. You don't have to carry your card around. You don't have to lose your card. We're gonna take this chip. Okay, that is found in your card, in your debit cards, in your credit cards. We're going to insert that thing in, in you so we can able to track your ass. Okay, watch the movie. Um, What's the name of this movie, man? Uh, Project Eden, uh, volume, volume 1. All right, they want to show you, they show you that you can, they can track you with this RFID chip. All right, and they show you in a, a couple of minutes about... 16 or 18 minutes into the movie, they show you that woman going there in the store, uh, buying with that chip, and showing when she was trying to escape, she was she was being tracked by the exact same uh, chip that is in her hand. Okay, so it's, it's, huh. hey, Revelation 14. I'm close of Revelation 14 and 9 it says. So verse eight, verse and and there followed another angel saying, "Bible, it's like yeah, yeah, Babylon is falling, is falling, the great city, because you've made all nations drunk of the wine of, of of the drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication. And part of it is what this new globalistic system of, of implementing of of uh, making sure all these nations are taking the RFID chip, all right, and all nations are going to fill the wrath of Yahweh Shemiosha, one way or another." Whether it be it's gonna be by famine, by pestilence, or it's gonna be by fire. Alright. So it's the the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive the mark of this of his the, receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the phonic. The same the same it's like a Revelation fourteen and ten. Right, it says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone 
in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. All right, because well, because the elect they're gonna be beamed up, okay, over the ozone layer, okay. They're gonna see all that destruction, okay. They're gonna see it all. All the those who gonna who have taken the artifact they chip, uh, the saints of the Most High, they're gonna be watching over all of that, okay. Those who have rebelled against Yahweh Pashmiyasha, the saints shall overcome, okay. The saints shall shall overcome. You should stop uh, trusting in his broken reed, okay. You should stop uh, stop doing that. Uh, and this this call is only unto the elect anyway. Uh, because the scripture says what well, says the rest, uh, what they were blinded, okay. Uh, Daniel four close off Daniel, chapter four verse seventeen. All right. It's like Daniel chapter 4. Just like here. Verse 17. It says that Daniel 7 is full. It's like here. My bad, my bad. It's like here. Daniel 2 and 44. It's a Daniel chapter 2 verse 44. It says, In the days of these kings shall the most of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Alright? That's what's coming. Don't take don't take that fucking chip. Call upon the names of Yahweh Pashim, Yahweh Shah Pashim, Rakakatash. Alright? In truth, Okay, and in sincerity, repent ye, repent ye, the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yashah is at hand. All right, double on the Sunday, the elders, apostles, elders of great most soul, and down, shalom, season, see, akio, shalom.